a story you saw first on KXLY4, a Coeur d'Alene teacher arrested just last night for a shocking crime that happened more than a year ago. And tonight, that Coeur d'Alene teacher is in jail on child rape charges. 32-year-old Daniel Taylor was arrested at his home yesterday. He's accused of raping a young family member. KXLY4's Kylie Cruz live tonight at our North Idaho Bureau with a story you saw first on KXLY4. Kylie? And good evening, Nadine. Coeur d'Alene police say the incident happened in October of 2012, but they were just made aware of it last week and after investigating detectives found probable a cause to arrest Daniel Taylor yesterday. Now today he made his first appearance in court and he is charged with two counts of lewd conduct, which is essentially a child molestation charge and one count of rape. Now the victim was not one of his students, but a young family member. Now Taylor has a criminal history that includes misdemeanor domestic violence charges and a conviction for violating a protection order in Colorado. The charges stem from a fight with his then wife while Taylor was holding their young son. And today that judge setting Taylor's bond at $50,000. Now Taylor was very quiet in the courtroom. He did not want to make a statement, but he did say he plans to hire his own attorney. Now since fall of 2011, Taylor has taught science at Venture High School, which is an alternative high school in the Coeur d'Alene School District. Now the district says Taylor is now on paid administrative leave until they receive additional information from police. We wanted to talk to the district today. Uh, they did not want to do an interview with us on camera, but they did put out this statement, which reads in part, the school district's primary focus is to ensure that the day to day business of educating our students continues with minimal disruption while respecting Mr. Taylor's privacy as he manages a personal matter that has become very public. Now, Taylor is expected to have another court appearance sometime in the next two weeks and if convicted he could spend his the rest of his life in prison reporting live tonight at a north idaho newsroom i'm kylie cruz kxly4 news